A letter has come out from the state's Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance in addressing the mold issue at the Roderick Island Courthouse in Springfield. This after a report found cancer causing mold in that building. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live in Springfield with what we're now learning. The letter opens the door for a new courthouse to be built in Springfield. They're going to be bringing in a consultant to see if that's even possible. We hope it makes as much fiscal sense to the Commonwealth as it does common sense for the people that have occupy those workspaces. Hampton County Sheriff Nick Kochi has barred inmates from going to the Roderick Ireland Courthouse since the report came out about the discovery of cancer causing mold. A situation Kochi said has been a scheduling challenge, but he believes is necessary. The state plans to start dehumidification in June, but the lawyer I spoke with said that this building here, the Roderick Ireland Courthouse, needs to be shut down immediately. That proposal does not get rid of the toxic mold in the building right now. So what is going to happen in the short term to make sure people are safe going to the courthouse? Laura Mangini is part of the group of lawyers suing to have the building shut down. Her team put out the report. In March, Mayor Sarno offered to help the state temporarily relocate court services in Springfield. He said now with the possibility of a new courthouse, this could be an opportunity to redevelop prime real estate in downtown. Maybe I'd reach out to MGM, spread their uh, footprint that they have. But then to have another site in, in downtown Springfield, uh, which we'd like to help facilitate. And 22 News asked Mayor Sarno if he had heard back from the state at all when it comes to the potential of relocating. He said he had not yet heard back from them. Review live in Springfield, Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.